Good evening, folks. Today, I know we're not at the river, we're not on a lake. We're at the gun shop today. Now, generally, I don't do these type of videos. I'm a fisherman, but I also dabble in some gun stuff. If you've seen some of my shorts, you'll see we do deal with some guns. And I generally don't do this type of video, but I had something come through the door that is just too cool not to share with the gun community on YouTube. Uh, we've got a bit of an unboxing new old stock, I'll say. So I'm gonna get this camera turned around, show you what we got in the box. Let me know down in the comments what you think about these old guns. Let's check it out. So what is in the box? What is so cool that we just had to show the world? This is a high standard 22 long rifle semi-automatic pistol. This is amazing because it's totally complete. This is the complete package. We've got the box. Look here at this price, $64.95. Now we're not selling anything. I'm just going to show you this was the price back in 1968. This particular pistol is a 1968 model according to the serial number and what I can find. So let's get into it, check it out. We're gonna open the box. Look at this. All the original paperwork from High Standard. You've even got the employee's clock-in number, 6209, that inspected this gun, that checked it out to make sure it was in the high standards quality control, that it met all the standards of high standard. So we've got that. We've got our warranty card. And I love looking at these old stock, stock cards, because you can tell like this is typewriter stuff. This is not off of a laptop or a desktop. This is all typewriter stuff. Important service information. Tells you all these now. High Standard opened in 1926 and they closed their doors around 2018. Uh, but you can still find several of these models floating around. So we have our service information. Check this out. We've got the booklet that breaks down the gun. This is, in fact, the Duramatic model. Uh, these come in several different, high standard made several different types of, of pistols. This is a lower end model, but still, it's all complete, the box, the paperwork. It's still super cool, but they had the, they had the Supermatic, they had the Victor, they had the Olympia, they had the Field King, several different models that, that High Standard produced. So you've got your breakdown chart. You've got all of the information on the pamphlet. How cool is that? This, the font of what they used to use, it just lets you know the age of this. And then we have our cardboard protector piece, and then, da 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 da, da boom. Check that out. Now this gun has been uh, old, so if you see something like, hey, what's on it? It is old, and I'm gonna try my best to not fiddle with it too much, but I am gonna show it off. So as I mentioned before, this is the Duramatic High Standard. That is a six and a half inch barrel. Uh, front fixed sight, and you have a wind adjustable dovetail back sight right here. You've got your cross bolt safety, which is also kind of your lock back mechanism. It's a little difficult and tricky to get on that, and we'll, we'll look at it in just a little bit. Uh, comes standard with a 10 round mag, and if it looks familiar, it should. They made these guns to mimic the Colt Woodsman. I'm sure everybody here has heard of those. So, all steel frame, got the big trigger guard. Now your mag release button is usually there back here nowadays, or you would have a little clip, uh, clip in place down here. But this one's actually up here. So let's get it out and let's take a look. Before we do anything, 
I do want to show that there is nothing in the magazine. And there is nothing in the chamber nor in the magazine. So this gun is safe to be handled and to show off all of its beauty. How nice is that? So as we already said, all steel, all steel pistol except the grips. Uh, they are a they are a bakelite grip, and you can take those off right here with this little this screw. But we're not going to do that. But yeah, blued the bluing is absolutely phenomenal on this gun. The model number is the M101. Like I said, your mag release is up here. This. Get all that oil on that. We're not going to get that all over. But that is a beautiful piece. You find these guns from time to time, but you don't find them like new in the box with all the paperwork. That is what has made this so amazing. So nice. Now, where could you get these guns? Back in the day, you could go to a local gun shop, pick one up. Uh, you could even walk into possibly a Sears or a J.C. Penney's and pick one of these up for what looks like on the front of that box about $64.95. If you can find one for $64.95, I suggest you pick it up as soon as you see it because they are a lot higher than that now. There you have it, folks. Super nice gun. Little old new unboxing, old stock old stock but looks so good if you like the gun stuff leave us a comment leave us a thumbs up and if you do like the content like this we will try to do more of this when we have something cool we're not going to waste everybody's time it's going to have to be nice but this is certainly a nice piece thanks for watching